Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person is thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, um, their intentions and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid. The roles can be reversed and only take what resonates and leave the rest. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If the title drew you in, then spirit has a message for you. Okay, so let's get right into this. Pisces person feel about them? How does Pisces person feel about them? Okay, so we got the page of cups here. Um, you could be younger than this person or they could be slightly younger than you, but they're definitely curious about you. They want to come forward. Um, you know, I'm getting curiosity. I'm also getting an apology. So this could be someone from the past. We shall see what comes out. Um, but yeah, someone, someone's definitely uh, got emotions for you, that's for sure. Let's see, how does this person feel about Pisces? How does this person feel about Pisces spirit? Thank you. The King of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Five of Swords. You could definitely be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Gemini <laughs> Libra, or Aquarius. Um, this person definitely wants to come in and talk to you. I do, I'm feeling like this is an apology now. Now with that card, I feel like this is someone you've already dealt with or been dealing with. Um, they wanna come in, they wanna apologize. They're kind of like wanting to just rush in and talk to you about something. Um, this Five of Swords energy here is telling me there could have been a really nasty ending between the two of you. Um, maybe like a, a sharp tongued argument. I don't know, some things were said, maybe they weren't meant. Um, we all get heated in the moment, right? But I feel like this person um, wants to apo excuse me, apologize about some sort of conversation that the two of you had, or maybe something they said to you. I'm gonna pull a card on this Five of Swords. What is this Five of Swords here? This person's all up in their head. For all those swords to come out, they're all up in their head about you, Pisces. If you haven't heard from this person and you're like, yeah, I'm waiting for my apology for what they said, they definitely want to come in. Like how they feel is they want to apologize for what they said they, they do. Um, let's figure out this Five of Swords. What is this Five of Swords about? How this person feels about Pisces? If you're a cross watcher, you could be sitting there saying, no, Pisces said something to me that I'm waiting for an apology for. Just take it how it resonates. Um, I'm seeing the Eight of Wands, which is messages coming in, but we'll see if that comes out. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Tell me about the Five of Swords for Pisces. The Moon, Pisces energy there. I'm feeling like this person said something out of fear. They said something, um, This the Five of Swords is also like self-sabotage. It's also, you know, um, ruining a perfectly good situation out of fear and i'm feeling that that's what that is with this moon so they want to apologize for that tell me about the, tell me more about the five of swords tell me more about the five of swords this person could have also maybe kept secrets um didn't tell you the whole truth about something and then maybe you found out and that's what led to this um this argument or this disagreement the queen of pentacles the four of pentacles could be like a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I feel like there was some sort of situation that this person, um, this person may have been dealing with or had been dealing with in the past and they weren't fully transparent about it. Um, they could have deceived you in some sort of way about this other situation that, that they, they are energetically still holding on to. I don't feel like this person, so for instance, this person has an ex, I'm getting um, children involved. So if this person has children by someone else, they're not involved with their ex physically, but energetically, they're still connected. Um, and I feel like this person um, was saying and doing things almost because, okay, so for instance, if you had an argument with this person, 
I feel like the way they reacted to you is the way they would have reacted to their ex. Because they're still energy energetically connected to that person. If you feel like it's you and you're energetically connected to someone else, um, there are cord cutting meditations you can try out. I find those really useful. I'll, I'll link them down below. But yeah, I feel like this person said something out of fear and it's based on a situation that they had already been deal had dealt with. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about the moon. The page of wands, tell me more. Tell me more about the moon. Yeah. The devil, the king of cups, and the, the six of swords. You could be dealing with a Capricorn here, or there, there is a lot of um, air energy here. A little bit of earth. Um, anyway, okay, so yeah, this person um, is fearful is fearful and, and it's almost stuck in a toxic cycle because of something that they've already been through and it has to do with their emotions i feel like um they're not good at expressing themselves they're not good at expressing their emotions um their emotions kind of scare them a little bit when they start to feel deeply for someone and i feel like they did feel deeply for you here pisces um and i feel like the way that they reacted to you is the way that they've reacted in the past it's like a, a toxic cycle that that they're in with their emotions and i feel like they their their um uh their fight or flight response is is flight with that six of swords there they kind of just like remove themselves from the situation it's like one of those things where it's like um you know i i instead of having a conversation they they don't like confrontation so they just remove themselves you also could be at a distance from this person physically um yeah, something was said that they're they're really not happy with themselves that they said that to you, but it was also like out of habit almost. Like it was like they didn't even think to do it. It was very impulsive. They just said it because they're like, that's just what I normally say. You know, I, I feel like you triggered them in some way, Pisces. And it's not to say it's your fault. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is whatever was said or done triggered them to feeling like they were back in their old situation or reminded them of their old situation and it um caused them to react in a way that they're like shit like now now i reacted that way to pisces and like i didn't even mean to i, I shouldn't have done that because that's not how i feel about pisces um yeah i feel like this person really struggles with their emotions i feel like they um have deep emotions for you with this king of cups here but i always say with the king of cups like the water there which water is emotions and tarot and it's like turbulent like i feel and with the with the devil here i feel like this person um has trouble expressing their emotions they don't know how to handle big emotions um and a lot of us don't right like it's just how we were taught how we were raised there's a lot of factors that go into that um but yeah this person really struggles and i feel like this almost this person almost like like purposely doesn't express emotions sometimes to almost feel like they're in control of the situation if that makes sense so like if you were like spilling your guts to this person pisces and you're like i care so much about you da, 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 da. like i know we had an argument but no 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 like let's figure this out this person acts like they didn't give a shit because um that's what they would do with their ex but also like they just don't know how to be like yeah i feel this too or whatever that's what i'm getting that's what i'm getting so I, I feel like you're not talking to this person right now, but they are thinking about you a lot and they're thinking a lot about what happened between the two of you and they're thinking about apologizing. So let's see their immediate actions, their actions in the immediate future. What actions will this person take in the immediate future towards Pisces? Thank you. The sun and the ace of wands, you could be dealing with a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. Make sure you check out your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. I'm going to post a link down below for how to find all of those. But this person, their actions are they want a new beginning. They want a fresh start with you. I feel like this person um, is really happy with you. Whatever time you guys did spend together meant a lot to them. Um, even if it was short-lived, I feel like it... Um, it was a lot quickly i don't know how else to say that like i feel like they felt a lot in a short amount of time i'm seeing the ace of swords here so communication we'll see if it comes out but yeah this person wants a passionate new beginning with you their actions are starting fresh i feel like um you know they were sitting in the moon they're sitting in the moon energy for how they feel and the moon is you know doesn't light up everything there's like pieces of unknown there's fear there but then the sun is like illuminating everything like i feel like they just want to get everything out on the table they want to start over with you 
Um, let's see. Tell me more about this person's actions in the immediate future towards Pisces spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. There's that eight of wands. This is going to come out of nowhere, Pisces. This person's going to message you. I feel like this is someone that you're like, uh, yeah, no, we like, th th they're done. Like we've been done. They said what they said. And like, I haven't heard from them since. Maybe they even ghosted you or blocked you. Um, but this person's going to come in and out of nowhere, especially with that tower energy. The tower is a surprise. The tower is like, it's going to come out of nowhere. And there's that eight of wands, the messages. This is fast communication. This is passionate communication. This is like, yo, I fucked up. And I'm seeing the Ten of Cups here. Like, I feel like you are this person's Ten of Cups. And maybe they didn't always say that. Um, or maybe they acted like like they didn't feel like that. Um, the energy I'm feeling right now, like, I feel like I want to talk really fast. Like, that's why I feel like with this person. Like, I feel like they're like, I just need to get it all out, Pisces. Like, I just want to, like, tell you everything. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I fucked up. Like, I didn't mean to do that. Like, that person, the reason I acted like this was, like, that's the energy. I feel like I just drank espresso and I didn't. <laughs> Like, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like this person's, like, really wanting to come forward here. It's going to come out of nowhere. It's literally going to come out of nowhere with that tower energy here. I feel like the universe has been uh, almost, like, p prompting this person in ways to say, like, you need to reach out to Pisces and apologize. Like, I feel like if you guys, for instance, had a song together, they keep hearing that song. And it keeps reminding you of them. They'll, like, see stuff that reminds you or reminds them of you. And they're like, I can't. I can't like keep not messaging Pisces anymore. Like I need to message and their immediate actions are they're going to, they're going to, it's going to come out of nowhere, Pisces. You're going to be like, yo, what? Like, I thought we were done. <laughs> like, I thought you didn't care. I thought like, you know, this was over. I thought you, I thought you didn't, I didn't know you felt that way about me. Like that's the energy I'm getting from you, Pisces. And this person's going to be like, no, 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 no. Like I was just, you know, I was bluffing or like I didn't say what I meant or like I what I said I, I didn't actually mean like that's what I'm feeling tell me about this eight of wands what is this communication spirit what is this communication tell me about the eight of wands for this person I, I saw the knight of pentacles wanting to come out but we'll see the seven of wands you could be dealing with a, 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 an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius I feel like this this person still has like their defenses up a little bit um they definitely want to start over with you they it's gonna come out of nowhere but i feel like they are still a bit like defensive like they know they messed up but it's almost like um the energy i'm feeling is they kind of almost want to be like yeah i messed up and like we'll talk about it but like i don't want to talk about it for long that kind of thing do you know what i mean like they don't like confrontation that's why i was feeling like they just don't like having those kinds of like tough conversations with people and a lot of people don't like it's not easy to do pisces like you're you know you're a water sign you're all about the emotions you're all about like diving deeper into people you know what i mean if you're able to you know just have a quick and when i say quick i don't know it could be an hour it could be a couple hours a quick conversation with this person about what they said and did and like move forward from it i feel like it well we'll see the potential outcome i feel like it could work but yeah i feel like this person's still slightly defensive as well like they did what they did but they want to explain why they did what they did and like they still have a they have in their head they had a valid reason but like they they're sorry they are sorry for doing it death um, could be done with the Scorpio here. Yeah, I feel like this person's like, I, I'm, they've been thinking about this and they're sorry and, and they want to transform in a way. It's like a new beginning for them. It's like something changed, like with the tower here too, like the, like these are major arcanas. This is like something big happening with this person. Like, I feel like they're like, I don't want to be like that anymore. You know, I don't want to react to you Pisces the way that I would have reacted to my ex-girlfriend or my ex-boyfriend or my ex-wife or my ex-husband or whatever um my ex-partner because um y you know it's just it's not what i want to do anymore and, I, and they want like a fresh start with you yeah so okay whenever i say whenever uh, the same numbers come out for the tarot cards we have the seven of pentacles and the seven of swords here i always say like this is a significant relationship you guys are connected like like the universe wants has put this person in your life for a reason this is like you know um, this could be a soulmate. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna see, but when synchronicities start coming out, it's the universe's way of communicating that like this is you're right where you're supposed to be. This is supposed to be happening. So I feel like what the death is, what the transformation is, is like this person was sneaky before. This person could have even put you in a third party situation because they just were like so um, 
up in their head and we're, we're just doing the same things that they had been doing for so long. Um, not really saying how they feel, acting out of fear, um, you know what I mean? Like, like kind of making you feel like you were the only one, like all up in your feelings, but this person's in their feelings for sure, 1000%, but they don't want to do that anymore. They don't want to act the way they were, they were acting before. They don't want to, um, you know, they don't want to, they don't want to lie, basically. <laughs> They don't want to deceive. They don't want to do that anymore. They feel like they're, they've been doing that and it's not working for them. Again, it could have been a third party situation here or maybe this person just like acted like they just didn't care. Like they were just carefree. It doesn't have, don't, if it's, if it wasn't a third party and you don't think it was, then that's not the part that resonates with you, right? The three of cups is here, but I feel like it's more like this person just doesn't want to lie about like what they were lying about before. They don't want to act the way they were acting before. And, and lying is like, telling a lie right but lying could also be like acting a certain way that you know deep down you don't want to act like that and i feel like that's this person like they were acting a certain way that they don't want to act like anymore and they and and they want to like put in the work that they that they feel into themselves in order to like make this work with you because you do make them really happy pisces tell me about this three of cups just for those wondering about the third party tell me about the three of cups tell me about the three of cups because this could just be them, again, acting carefree, acting like they didn't care. The Eight of Cups, yeah. Walking away, acting like they just didn't care. Acting like it didn't bother them. Acting like, like there was no emotion here. Because I feel like there were deep emotions between the two of you. The Ten of Cups isn't here yet, but I feel like it could come out. Because I feel like this person feels that way about you. They feel like a deep emotional connection with you, but they just like didn't know how to say it or like we're acting out of habit, acting out of a toxic cycle. But that I feel like that cycle's breaking. They've actually done the work. Like if you haven't talked to this person in a while, I feel like they've been in this time that you haven't been talking, they, I feel like there could have been a period where they're like back to their old ways for like a little bit, a week or two or something. And they're like, wait a minute, like, what am I doing? Like they, it's like, a, it's like a, an awakening, like being illuminated to like, I can't do this anymore. Let's see um, their intentions. What are the, What is this person's intentions with Pisces? What is this person's intentions with Pisces? Thank you for the messages so far, Spirit. What is this person's intentions with Pisces? The Queen of Cups, the Three of Swords. Okay, so I feel like what I'm getting from this is I feel like, you know, the King of Cups came out before. I feel like this person feels like you are their person, you are their match, you are their soulmate, and, and they want to heal their the heartbreak that they did cause between the two of you. Do you know what I mean? Even if it, even if it wasn't that serious, and if you were only dating for like a couple months or something like that, it, it could have really hurt if you guys really felt for something for each other, right? Like, I feel like um, there was deep emotion here, and I feel like this person wants to heal that. I feel like this person wants to move past that. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person's intentions. Yeah, see? Okay, you could be dealing with an Aries or a Sagittarius. They want to take a leap of faith. They want to leave behind what's already happened. They want to move forward. And they want balance here with the temperance. They want, they want to find the middle ground with you. They want, you know, temperance is like, to me, it's like running hot water and cold water and finding, finding the perfect temperature for your bath. You know what I mean? Like that's what they want. They want to find out what, what they can do to make this work with you. And they want to take that leap of faith. And there's so many major arcanas here. I'm telling you, like, I feel like this is like big for this person. I feel like this person realized like they were in a toxic cycle. They've been in that toxic cycle. You awoke something in them, Pisces. Your connection with them made them realize like, I can't do this shit no more. Like this isn't working for me, you know? Or I'm not going to let that ex or that past situation, whatever, like, like, have me continue acting this way when that's not how I want to act you know we all make mistakes I'm seeing the six of cups here like this could be a soulmate connection someone from your past for sure um I, I just feel like this person's like I don't want to do this anymore it's just not working like I messed up and I really feel like they really see you as like their son Pisces like they see you as like someone they really want to be with and it doesn't surprise me Pisces are like one of the most, probably if not the most, like loving, caring, empathetic, like, you know, giving, like sign, like you just, you give, you give with everything in you, right? Tell me more about this three of swords, because I feel like it's this person wanting to heal that, wanting to love you in a way and show you that they love you in a way to heal that. 
And in a way, you're almost healing them too by reciprocating. Tell me more. The Queen of Swords. You could definitely be dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Tell me more. I feel like this person wants to talk. They want to communicate about um, what they did and how they can fix it. You have strength here. All of these majors coming out. You could be dealing with a Leo. Tell me more. I feel like they held back. They held back from this connection. Yeah, they held. Okay, there was a lot of passion here. There was definitely a lot of passion here, Pisces. Like, the, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you were very physically attracted to each other. There was just like, so like chemistry was like off the charts. And I think the intention was to take it slow, but they didn't. Um, they want to now. They want to heal this. Like, they want to hold on to this. They want to, they want, they want to fix this. I know sometimes you can be like Pisces, if you're sitting there and you're like, no, there's no fixing this. Like you did what you did, I'm done, I'm moving forward. Then that's okay too, right? Like you're like, we all have free will. Your choices are your choices and there's no wrong choices because that's your journey, that's your path. But I feel like if you're sitting there and you're like, I know there's a person from my past who did me wrong. They said some shit they shouldn't have said. They acted in a way they should have acted. They know what they did. And they're coming back with an apology and they're coming back wanting to start fresh with you and and they have been doing the work like with the tower here and the death here the transformation like they want to let you know like look like this connection opened my eyes to like the, the things i was doing i don't want to do that anymore i don't want to do that anymore so let's see the potential outcome what's the potential outcome between pisces and this person What's the potential outcome between Pisces and this person? I mean, that's how it usually goes, right? Like someone someone takes advantage of the connection while they're in it. And then as soon as it's done, like later they realize like, oh, you know, I shouldn't have done that. Or like, this is it. But I feel like this is like a real awakening for this person. Like, like you were like the catalyst for this. Judgment, second chances, potential outcome. This person wants a second chance with you. They want to for you to judge this situation in a way of being like like I, I messed up like they want to say that that I, I'm just feeling this energy of like Pisces just hear me out like hear me out please you know and you don't have to Pisces again like let me know in the comments down below you know what your situation is and you know are, do you feel like you want to take this person back or not that's up to you let me know I love hearing from you guys but this person wants a second chance potential outcome here they want a second chance Tell me more and i feel like you could give it to them because you are such a loving you know caring sign but if not then i mean this person's all up in their head i gotta say heavy air heavy heavy air we just got the nine of swords i feel like this person um could suffer from anxiety i'm not a doctor i can't i can't diagnose anyone but i feel like they um their thoughts really like run wild sometimes and they have like a hard time controlling it at times um you know, if, if you don't give them a second chance, there it is. If you don't give them a second chance and that's your choice, you don't have to. I feel like um, they're really going to be all up in their head about it. But there's that 10 of cups that I was saying. Like, I feel like this this person like really cares about you. They really love you. Um, they can see a life with you. You know what I mean? If this is what the life looks like for you, children, a house, whatever, like whatever your life looks like, that's what they want with you. Um, you know what, I don't usually use rever read reversals. This is how it came out. I feel like the illusion is over. Like they don't want, they, their, their decision is made. They wanna put the energy, they wanna put more into this connection than they were before. I feel like the scales were unbalanced before and they don't want that. They don't. The seven of cups here could like is confusion. It could be like keeping your options open. I don't read reversals, but it did come out in the reverse. So I'm gonna pull a card on it. But I feel like what this person really wants more is just a second chance. Like they just wanna, they wanna fix this. They they do. They wanna try. Tell me more about the seven of cups. What is the seven of cups? I might have to go to the other deck. Tell me more about the seven of cups, the ten of wands, and the two of wands. I feel like, and the eight of pentacles. I feel like this person, um, yeah. And there's that eight back to back. Yeah, they could definitely be dealing with a soulmate here. And the world, joy, completion, like a, this, a cycle ending. I feel like this person, um, like I said, because they acted like they didn't care, they acted like this was no big deal, whatever. Um, maybe they, they're like, why are you up in your feelings, Pisces? Like, you know, they kind of like tried to play it cool like that before. And they like really hurt your feelings when they did that. I have to say like, it really hurt. It really did hurt your feelings and as it should, you know, not as it should, but you know, like I'm understanding of that is what I'm saying. And I feel like they understand that now. 
they they wanted they went out into the world thinking like i don't need pisces like i'm good whatever whatever and then they realized like no, no 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 like this is actually weighing really heavy on me and like i need to get pisces back and i feel like again like this person has a tendency to like be all up in their head like they really think about you a lot and they're working on it they're working on like trying to get past that they're working on um being better for not only you and the connection but for themselves because i feel like they know they were in this toxic cycle they've been in this toxic cycle for a long time tell me more about the potential outcome i'm just feeling like i need to go to this deck tell me more about this potential outcome there's that seven of cups again and the king of cups synchronicities here i'm telling you yeah this person um has deep 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 love for you and they don't i feel like they don't want to keep their options open i feel like they tried to they went out they saw what else was out there they tried to act like they didn't care and then they realized like no this is not like pisces is actually it pisces is the one i want tell me more about the potential outcome and this whole time pisces i feel like you would have been like what like i don't even know they were thinking about me like they just they just cut me off like i honestly feel like this person could have ghosted you or just like it ended so abruptly um but they're coming back they're coming back with an apology and like with this transformation tell me more about the potential outcome between pisces and this person sorry bear with you guys just gotta saw the ten of cups again but tell me more about the potential outcome between pisces and this person okay i feel like i gotta shuffle again bear with me guys spirit tell me about the potential outcome between pisces and this person yeah this person's all up in their head i'm feeling really lightheaded like i like there's so much going on in my head that i can't even like deal with the two of wands again yeah this person just tell me more T tell me more i gotta start using this deck more so they don't stick together so much <laughs> this person uh yeah they really they they thought they thought they could do better really but you know what pisces this could also be you being like i can do better you know what i mean if this person messed up and you're like i don't deserve that and as much as you're sorry like thank you but no thank you thank you next i'm hearing ariana grande um i'm not gonna sing but yeah i feel like this could be you this could be you being like see you later like i know i i deserve better here the magician and the five of cups i feel like this per okay so anxiety and depression are comorbid disorders right usually when one's present the other one is present in some way or other i feel like this person suffers a lot from that and i'm not making excuses for them and i'm not a medical doctor i can't diagnose anything but i feel like this person's really trying to move past that with the magician here especially like i feel like they're trying to um you know remove their negative thoughts replace them better with with um with um with positive thoughts they really want this to work with you and and the empress just came out like this is i feel like this is how they feel about you pisces they see you as everything you know what i mean like if if it applies to you they want to have like they want you to have their children they want to have children by you like that's that's how i feel like i feel like this person sees you as like the world they want everything with you i love this empress card it's so beautiful it's such a beautiful depiction you know the emperor is just like it's the divine feminine energy it's not necessarily a female but it's just someone who has it all they want victory with you six of wands this is a potential outcome i feel like there's there's it's not going to be easy like it's not going to be like a walk in the park you know especially if you've already been through some shit with this person you know what i mean that's just how it goes it's just how relationships are they take work but i feel like this person is deeply sorry for what they did there and they are changing their ways they really are you know it's because we looked at their actions but then we also looked at their intentions and i feel like that's why i like to do both because their actions could be like i'm coming forward you know i'm gonna message you i'm gonna you know da, da, da. but then their intentions are like lying sneaking being you know all that but the, but the lying card did come out the seven of swords did come out but it came out with with death with transformation i feel like this person doesn't want to do that anymore whatever they did they acted like they didn't care they don't want to do that anymore and they want a fresh new beginning with you, Pisces. So let's see what messages Spirit has for you. Spirit, what messages do you have here for Pisces? Whoa. 
Okay, we got look for a sign. So just like this person, I feel like, like I was saying, like I, I feel like they hear songs that remind, like if you guys had a song together, they're hearing it all the time. If you're, if the same thing is happening to you, if you're, if you're there and you're like, man, we used to, um, you know, always do this or whatever. And like, something's just, look for a sign that reminds you of this person. Listen to your intuition. Ask for help from others. So that's like confiding in your loved ones, right? Choose a new direction. I feel like this is this person choosing a, a new direction to go. Improving health. Yeah, like mental health, right? Like I feel like they're improving the way that they act, like the way that they are thinking. Um, and within the next few months. I'm hearing December. I don't know why. December's sticking out to me right now. Um, so that could be relevant. Let me know. Let me know in December if something comes out. But yeah, I feel like this person's really working on themselves. And they could even be asking the people around them, like, yo, like, what do I do? Like, I lost, I lost Pisces and like, I need to get them back. What should I do? You know, I feel like they're choosing a new path. They are. And look for a sign. I always like to say this, like, this could be anything, something that reminds you of them, but you can ask the universe for signs too. I always like to use cars because I see a lot of cars on my walks and stuff. So like I asked for like a bright purple or a bright yellow car. Those are like my two go-to colors. Or like you could be like, show me a lime green car. And if you're like, I never see lime green cars. I swear if it's, you could be like universe, should I take this person back? Show me a lime green car if I should. Thanks universe, bye. Go about your day. And you'll see, if you see a lime green car, that is not a coincidence. That is universe being like, yes. Like they're, they're trying to communicate with you. Ask for signs like that. I do it all the time. It, it's fun. It's like a game. Anyway, okay. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces regarding this situation? Thank you for the messages so far, Spirit. I feel really, like, <laughs> tired from talking because I feel like this person wants to talk a lot. Like, I, they, they must have heavy air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I, I just feel like they, they have so much to say. They want to get so much off their chest. Okay, we got um, Deep Knowing. Number 43 reduces to seven, so you could be seeing sevens. New life, which is 39, reduces to 12, which reduces to three. And regeneration. Okay, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling called, to, you know what, I feel, I'm feeling called to read all of them. I don't usually, but I'm gonna read all of them because I feel like they're all relevant. So let's read Deep Knowing, number 43. Um, okay. There are occasions when you just know, deep in your heart and soul, that a person is going to play a meaningful role in your life. Someone crosses your path and suddenly out of the blue, you're connected at a level impossible to describe. That feeling marks a moment in time etched ind indelibly onto your soul. Someone has entered your life who will be instrumental in your journey. So pay attention. Two hearts are calling to each other to begin an alchem alchemical, alchemical process. <laughs> wow. I swear I'm smart. I just don't know that word. This is also a sign that your intuition about the person you care about is correct. Trust your heart to lead you now. Magic is about to happen. Yeah, listen, listen, listen to your intuition. Yeah, listen to your intuition. Listen here too. So I feel like you played a really instrumental role in this person too, Pisces. Remember, the roles could be reversed. But I feel like whatever connection you guys did have really woke this person up to be like, I can't do this anymore. And I feel like that, that message is saying that. Like this person's instrumental in your life right? Like for a reason. Um, let's read number 39, new life. You must acknowledge your inexperience and gently allow yourself to be like the delicate new bud opening. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's my food. It's okay to admit you may not know something. You are at the beginning of things and haven't yet hit your stride. Be immersed in the newness of it all and don't try to rush the learning process. New life has its own timetable for maturity. Be here now. Life loves you. Okay, so I feel like that was that was for someone specific. So if it didn't resonate, don't take it, but I feel like someone needed to hear that. Okay, and then let's read Regeneration. The world is based on connections and relationships. No matter what loss has occurred in the past or even now, death and endings are only illusions. There is life after death, love after loss, and in this moment you are radiating the regenerative life force energy that makes you irresistible to love in all forms. Now is the time when you will see evidence of this new emergence. Can you feel it? Love is rising up to greet you. Yeah, so Pisces, is this a situation that you were like, like I feel like you were really sad that this ended. 
you know, um, cause you felt, you felt something deep with this person too. They feel it and they've been feeling it now that you've been separated, especially. And I feel like they're coming forward. They're, they're sorry. And, um, you know, this is a, there is an opportunity here for, for a second chance here at love. If that's what you so choose, let me know in the comments down below. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? That's a lot. <laughs> I was like half the deck. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? Just a few cards, please. Thank you for the messages so far. Thank you. Communication is key. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person wants to talk a lot. There's a lot they want to get off their chest, but I feel like you also, Pisces, like, um, you know, let them know too. Let them know what happened. Let them know how you were feeling. Let them know what you need moving forward. Communication is absolutely key. Prosperity lies ahead. Beautiful. Your hard work is paying off. I honestly feel like this person has been putting in work into their whatever. They're trying to really work on themselves. But I also feel like Pisces, like you're just a hard worker too. So whatever you're doing is working. And take time to breathe out. Mm -hmm. I feel like that card is always, to me, it speaks about, you know, meditating, getting back to nature, journaling, you know, being, being one with yourself. Oh, okay. I feel like there's another one that needs to come out here. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Pisces, please? Thank you. Work through your fears. Mm -hmm. Nothing will come of this situation. That is so interesting. I gotta pull a card on that. What is that about? Spirit, what if nothing will come of this situation? What is nothing will come of this situation? Okay. Spirit, what is nothing will come of this situation? This could be your choice, Pisces, where you just end up walking away from this person. Um, let's see. Nothing will come of this situation. Spirit, what is nothing will come of this situation? I mean, that's pretty straightforward. You could just, if this whole time you were sitting there like, no, 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 this, this ain't it. Like, I'm moving on. Then maybe this card is for you, right? Um, Six of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like Pisces, if you already feel like you put in the work into this and nothing came of it. Um, oh, Ten of Cups. This is definitely someone from your past. Two of cups, stop it. Stop that right now, spirit. I mean, don't stop, but you know what I mean? This is definitely someone from your past. Definitely someone you've already had a connection with. Um, this two of cups here, I mean, this is all about union coming together, 10 of cups, like happy, happy, unconditional love, right? But it's saying nothing will come of this situation. So, I mean, if you thought that that's what you were going to have with this person and they already messed up too much, like this could be that message for you. I'm not, I'm feeling like this isn't for everyone, but, um, there's definitely some of you out there that are like, yeah, no, I thought this was it. I thought this was like my soulmate. I thought this was someone I wanted. Um, especially if it's someone you're already dealing with, someone from your past, I feel like you feel like you already put this, the energy in and you're like, no, like they messed up, like, you know, too little, too late. Kind of interesting interesting i feel like i need a couple more i'm just so curious tell me more about nothing will come in this situation spirit yeah the nine of swords the nine of pentacles the world and the moon yeah i just feel like some of you are out there just saying like no 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 like it is what it is this person did what they did i'm good i'm moving on you could have already moved on i don't know well i don't know why you'd watch this reading then but <laughs> i mean to each their own right um yeah i feel like some of you are just like no 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 i'm good but yeah, this person from the past is definitely coming back with an apology, um, and that's what they're gonna, that's what they're gonna let you know. Their intentions are good, but I mean, sometimes, sometimes it's like I said, too little, too late, right? You make your decisions, Pisces. Whatever you do, um, they're they're best for you. Star ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom. Look a little deeper. Okay, I feel like someone needed to hear that. Just kind of, yeah, that was kind of bringing me back to like the meditation, like understanding maybe more what you need and what you want. Is there any more messages for... Thanks. <laughs> Earth school, life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. Yeah, everything everything is a, is a blessing or a lesson, right, Pisces? So even if you thought this was your person and it wasn't, what did you learn from it? And what will you what will you take moving forward? 
called Soul Gifts and Training. It's time to step up. Yeah, I feel like for those of you who are like, no, 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 I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. That's okay. And I, but I feel like Spirit's asking you, what did you learn from this situation? What did you learn? Right? Like what, what did this person teach you about relationships, about love, about trust, about boundaries, about um, needs, wants, you know, and take that information and, and use it to apply for moving forward. Okay. This person has a lot to say. Like I'm feeling so lightheaded and like, I just feel like this person has so much to get out. That's what I'm feeling. Um, so I hope something resonated here, Pisces. Um, if it did, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe. I love hearing from you all. I love your beautiful energy. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night and love and light.